Hello there, I am Janko with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got through Cycling Road, and we also beat Eric, I believe, over the Saldante Gym. And we got the TM, I think it was 19 Giga Drain, I could be wrong. And we taught that to Ma Megan, and now we have, uh, with that, uh, I think also Megan learned level, uh, level 61, uh, he learned, uh, Solar Beam, when we were training up to this point to get to Future City. So everyone has a final move set now, as far as I know. So yeah, in fact I checked in the last part and everyone does have the final moveset, which is awesome. So now we're going to take on the Future City Gym. Uh, Future City Pokemon Gym Leader, uh, Janine, okay. Poisonous Ninja Master, okay, so let's go inside the gym. Okay, first let's talk to the Vice Giver. Yo, champion making. Whoops, take a good look around. You, you, the trainers, all look like... Oh wait, uh, tr tr take a look around you, I should say. The trainers are... All look like the leader Janine, and I'm still probably not putting the name wrong. I'm I'm sorry. Which of these is the real Janine? Okay, so I think the one in the, not that one, but I think I can point it out if I can get her on screen for a second. I think it's that one right there. Oh, I could be wrong. Um. Oh yeah, these little white specks or spots on the ground are to help you uh, determine like the way you can walk and stuff. So, who do I have in front again? I forget. I don't have a brussel up front. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So, let's take on this first gym leader. This gym. Fortry Ha. Yeah. So, only one of these is going to be the real gym leader. So, it's kind of like guessing. You know, kind of just like you have to remember it, or you just have to battle all of them or something. Or if you have a slight clue, that's good too. Last well, Linda would like the ones to battle. Okay. So again, uh, like always, as I've been doing these Kanto Gym Leaders and Gyms, I should say, these Gyms, I will be battling the first trainer, and then I'll be skipping to the end of the remaining trainers I fight, and then of course I should have the Gym Leader fight, of course. Uh, let's go for the Ice Punch, actually. This Bulbasaur is level 30 and male, so Bristol is 30 levels higher than this thing. Nice, okay. Cool. Okay, no, okay, she probably has the Bulbasaur family if she's in an Ivysaur next. I wouldn't be surprised if she had Venusaur too. Let's get the Psychic then. Get same type of attack bonus at least. So this Ivysaur is level 32, which is one of evolves into a uh, Venusaur, but you must press the B button or something because if the Bulbasaur is level 30, it should have been a Ivysaur at level 16, but I, I, I'm, I, I'm not in control of if you want to evolve your Pokemon or not. <laughs> yeah, she does have the Bulbasaur family. She has the Venusaur coming out. Okay. Nice. Okay, I think, I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur is still fast with this thing. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, Venus was, this Venus was level 34 in male, so... Bulbasaur is still 26 levels higher than this thing. And it goes down one... It's like a... Like a like it's been with the, like it did with the Ivysaur, so that's good. Last one was defeated. Okay, oh, I lost you, not weak. I'm sorry. Thanks for the interesting book dollars. You'll get better. So, I am, I, this puzzle's annoying, but I'll figure it out. I mean, like, I can obviously see where not to go, because little white specks mean there's an invisible wall, basically. I'm Janine. How did you know I was real? Let's battle. Maybe the Janine, or you're just kidding me. I hope you just psyched me out, okay? It's like, I don't think she's actually placed that po in that spot at the gym, but whatever. Oh, it's a Needle Queen, nice. So, do I go for Surf or do I go for Psychic? I'm gonna go for Surf, actually. Yeah, so Needle Queen's level 36, that's cool. Nice. But Broso is still 24 levels higher than this thing, so that's good. And it goes down one here, awesome. There we go, Bristol's not level 61, awesome. I guess I showed that battle anyway because I commentated through it, jeez. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess this battle I'll actually cut out to the end, I forgot about that. Like, I, for I forgot my own formula there for a second, wow. Waha, you betcha, okay. I don't think you're Janine either. I'm pretty sure you're not. Yeah, Camper Barry wasn't defeated. He's not Janine. He had a Nido Queen, or Nido King, I should say. Should be cool. I, I skipped the dog. I'm sorry. Thanks for 712 pocket dollars. Pocket dollars. Yay. Cool. Um. Thank you, the real Janine, so I'm gonna skip you. 
Well, wasn't that uh, my disguise perfect? Okay. I, I think that's what you need, so I want to battle this person first. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Foo 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 I'm Jenny the gym leader. No, I'm not. Got your sucker. Yeah, you gave up your disguise, so yeah. So last Alice was defeated. She had two glooms and an Arbok. How cool. I had you fooled. I guess you did. Thanks for so much for the book. Always. Plus, I wanted to battle you anyway. So I think about all the trainers in the stream. If I didn't, that's... Oh, well, I guess. This is real Janine. Foo 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 foo. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I am the real deal. Janine, a future gym. That's me. Yeah, let's battle her then. Let's do this. She, I believe she's still Koga's daughter too, by the way. Where did Janine write once the battle? Because Koga was originally in the Fuse City Gym. But he is in the Pokemon League in this game, so yeah. I guess she gave she gave the rights to the gym to her daughter his daughter or something, you know? Okay, so it's cool bets level 36 in male, so Bristol's still 25 levels higher than the city. Let's go for the psychic attack. Corbat's gonna outspeed Bristol or that speed, uh, so bro, which I'm not too surprised. But yeah, just it goes for the wing attack and then Bristol uses the psychic. Awesome. Let's go for an epic solar bro sweep. How about that? She has five Pokemon. Okay, no, Ardeos. Okay, Ardeos. Okay. So this is a bug type. I'm pretty sure it's not poison type at all. Let's go for the surf attack. This already does is level 33 in male, so Broso is still 28 levels higher than this thing, so that's awesome. It goes down here, awesome. She's gotta have more poison type Pokemon though. There we go, Weezing, nice. It's a defensive wall, but special defense isn't as high of a stat. So that's good, let's go for the special attacking uh, psychic type move then. This Weezing's level 36 in male, so Bruso is still 25 levels high on this thing. Could quite awesome. I'll take it. Two more Pokemon left. Another Weezing. So far, so far, she has a two Weezings, an Ar uh, not an Arbok, but an Ariados, and a... What did she lead off with again? I forget what she went off with, actually. Wow. Dang it. Oh, she went off with the Crobat. Now, I had to think that for a second. I was like, what? How did I not? How did I forget that so quickly? But yeah, she's the lead off with the Crobat, so yeah. This Weezing is also level 36 in male, so. First, it's 24 of those high in this thing, and it goes down here. Awesome. Nice. A Venomoth, huh? I think it's half flying type. I could be wrong. It could be bug and poison type. I forget, honestly. Let's go for the Ice Punch anyway. Or Die Hurt on Venomoth, okay. See here. Okay, it wasn't even super effective, so that's probably why. Uh, let's go for the surf. It's probably gonna heal. Okay, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that uh, Janine didn't even heal. But that Venomoth is level 39 in male, so Broso is still two, two levels higher than it. So we're, we're in good shape. We defeated the gym leader, Janine. Janine. I should really look up at the pronunciation. I'll put a text over right now on screen on how to pronounce it because I'm obviously just pronouncing it wrong and butchering your name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, okay, you're t you're a tough one. You definitely won. Thanks. Here's Soul Badge. Take it. Nice. Thanks for the 3900 Poké Dollars. Get the Soul Badge. I believe that's our fourth gym badge now of Kanto. First being Lieutenant Sage, second being Sabrina, third being Erica, and then fourth now being Janine. Yeah, you're so tough. I have a special gift. It's toxic, a powerful poison move that steadily saps the victim HP. Victim HP. Team must six, which is toxic. Yeah, you can badly poison your enemy, which does more every, every turn. It's a lot more effective than regular poison, I should say. I'm going to really, really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than both my father and you. Okay, we'll see about that. Now let's see if I can get out here. No, but this is not the right way. I need to backtrack. I bet there's this quick way to get out here. Probably not, but I don't know. I just know my way out because I can see the um, where the invisible walls are. Let's talk to the Vice Giver. That was a great battle trainer from Johto. <laughs> Thanks. That was an epic Solbo sweep, by the way, too. Awesome. Fuse City Gym Waiter. Gym. Fuse City Gym. Waiter Janine. Wing Trainer Steven. Cool. 
So I'm at um I think I'm at eleven minutes of recording time, just about. Um yeah, Bristol, everyone's level sixty two. I'm gonna prepare this back in the PC and get get a who did I put in the PC? I think I put Hmm. I think I put um Mystic in the PC actually. Yeah. I think I did. I'm gonna have to heal up too real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, I put my Mr. Uh, put Paris back in the PC and got Mystic out of the PC, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think we're gonna go east of Future City next. That'd be nice. I think we're gonna make our way back all up to Vroomin City and stuff, and maybe right to Lavender Town, because I think you have to get it through Dark Rock Tunnel to get back to um the power plant and stuff, which is well actually. I think you can go all the way back around, but then you have to go through Mount Moon again to, after you get to Pewter City through Diglett's Cave. So I have to decide on what I want to do. I think I'm going to probably just try to go through Dark Cave, honestly, because I think it's faster to get the power point that way. Then going all the way to Pewter City from Diglett's Cave after waking up to Snorlax, which I think we can do once we reach Lavender Town. We'll get such a music card. But yeah, um, we have to deal with all the trainers, so I'll show this first battle, and then I'm gonna skip to the end of the rest of the battles, actually. So hang on, I have my phone, I have phone on my, the, my mom on the phone, there we go. Yeah, I know, I kinda went against what I just said and said, hey, I'm gonna show this battle, but uh, I accidentally sped through it, so I might as well finish up this battle. And I cut it this out, I guess. And Schoolboy right there, good at level um, 62, which was awesome. Schoolboy Kip was defeated, awesome. Sorry, Mom, I always beat I'm sorry. It's okay, you'll get better. Thanks for the 992 Poké Dollars. So, this battle, I'm actually gonna show to make up for it, you know, and I won't, tr I, won't I remember not to speed through this battle, like, like I did the last battle. So, it was, um, Brosso with Mystic, I guess. Everyone's level 61 except for Brosso, he's level 62 now. Awesome. So, yeah, let's battle. I won't lose. We'll see about that, buddy. We'll see about that. So, here's my school kid. He, his name is Tommy. And he's gonna send a uh, Zat too. Nice. So guess what move I'm gonna tell Mystic to use? Shadow Ball, because it's gonna be super effective at least. So yeah, there we go. Shadow Ball hits. Awesome. The Zat is level 32 in male, so Mystic is still level, is still um 29 levels higher than this thing. Yeah, 29 levels higher. Okay, cool. Because 32 plus 9 is 41, and then 20 plus 41 is. Uh, 61, so yeah. Yeah, that, that too goes down in one hit, so that's awesome. Oh shit, he has an Alkazam, cool. Nice. Alkazam is not level 34, awesome. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. And there we go, one shot of Pultex down the Alkazam, awesome. I'm sorry I skipped through your dialogue, and thanks for the 1,888 Pokedoro, so... I really appreciate it, man. I'll skip the next battle, obviously, like I said. Like I promised, for the usual formula of this kind of stuff, with training battles. On a sunny, on sunny days, I think that the kids would rather be playing in their schoolyard than studying in class. That's true, you know? That's true. Teacher Hilly was defeated. She's a teacher, apparently, so yeah. I don't- I didn't want to lose, I'm sorry. Thanks for the 20, 1, 2, 2,592 Pokedollars. What does this sign say? Does it say like, trainer tips or something? Route 15. Fuse this city, and this goes to Lavender Town, okay. But it's a long route. In fact, I can show you on the map. So, here we are on Route 15 right here, and uh... We have to go through Route 14, Route 13, Route 12, and then we finally get- to, Oh, here's Route 11, by the way, which is just east of, um... The Vimland City where this but that Snorlax is still blocking the path to um Route eleven if you want if you if you, if you wanna to go to Vimland City and go east right now, but the Snorlax is blocking the way, so that's an option. And then uh Lav Lav Radio Towers right here and then Lavin Town's all the way up here. So it's good to go like two or three more routes, which might take a while honestly, but it's good that I'm skipping like most of these battles anyway, so skip into the end of them so I save time I guess. My favorite class is gym. Cool. Physical visual P is important. Schoolboy Billy was defeated. Awesome. Oh no, how could I lose? 
Thanks for the 1,120 pocket dollars, man. I'm sorry, you just lost. <laughs> it's okay, though. I tried to say physical education is cool or important, but uh, I had to settle with P as important because I couldn't get out of my mouth as fast. <laughs> that's uh, unfortunate, but that's okay. Have you forgotten anything? I don't think so. Teacher Colette was defeated. Nice. Kwa <laughs> something Kwa, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, she had a Clefairy. The last trainer had a couple of Parises, I think, and another Pokemon, I forget. This trainer right here had a couple of Parises, and another Pokemon, I forget, because I think she, I think he had three, I think she had, uh, three, um, Pokemon all together. Okay, we're on a field trip to Lavender. Radio Tower for, for social studies, nice. School boy Johnny was defeated. He had a bow sprout, a weeping bow, and a victory bow. So the whole bell sprout family. That's pretty cool. You're wickedly tough. You're wickedly tough. Thanks, man. Thanks for 1,056 pocket hours as well. Yeah, so we're, uh, I think we need cut for this, but, uh, that's a bummer because I don't have cut with me. <laughs> I'm probably going to sell on a decent item, but it's whatever. Uh, I, I don't mind. It's not going to get to me. I think here's another school kid. My dream is to fly with my beloved bird Pokemon. Okay, so you're a bird keeper then. I'm guessing. Mystic Grew level 62. Awesome. Bird keeper Roy was defeated. Awesome. So he was a bird keeper. Nice. He had two Fioras, by the way. I can dream, but I can't ever fly. You can fly on an airplane, technically. <laughs> That's like a alternative, I guess. Thanks for the 840 pocket dollars, man. Okay, I think there's like a hiker up here. I could switch Pokemon real quick before he sees me. Jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna switch uh, Mystic with uh, Sanders. But then I'm also gonna switch uh, Sanders with Megan, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure this is a hiker, but judging by a sprite. So let's battle him. Hi, did you know Pokemon get more friendly if you train them in a place they remember? That they remember? Yeah, that's, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, Pokefan Trevor was defeated. He was not a hiker, but he had one Psyduck. So that's cool. Uh, where did I meet this Psyduck? Oh man, <laughs> you not, is it not your Pokemon or something? Thanks for the 2,640 Poké Dollars, man. I really appreciate it. Again, you need to cut here, which you can battle trainer, I'm guessing, right over there. Uh, this could be another Pokemon fan, or it could be another a good, or it could be a hiker. We'll have to wait and see, you know. Let me tell you, I had a hard time. Catching my prize Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry for that. I'm glad he caught them though, eventually. You know, I can see why he had a hard time catching his prize Pokemon because, uh, this is Pokemon fan Carter that we defeated. He had a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, and a Squirtle. And I believe they can only get one of those in the game. But whatever, he must have traded over his to different cartridge to one cartridge and kept on like restarting his game to get all three starters. Huh, interesting. Ah, uh, Okay, thanks for the 2,320 poke dollars, man. Really appreciate it. I wonder if anyone's done like a walkthrough guide or walkthrough or let's play of um, Pokemon Leaf Green or Fire Red where they did that. Where like they traded using two cartridges. Like say they traded um, a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle to a Fire Red cartridge from like a Leaf Green cartridge or another Fire Red cartridge. And they started with um, Charmander, I guess. Then that would make you, that would make you have like... And get all three stars just by trading through the cartridges and stuff. I mean, you have the equipment to do that. That makes sense because it's really cool to have all three starters. I think you can get all three starters in a uh, Pokemon Yellow, and hopefully you can do that. And um, you can get them in Pokemon Leaf, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee too. That's pretty, pretty cool. I plan on getting Let's Go uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee though when it comes out. I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I should pre-order it because I've never pre-ordered a Pokemon game. Honestly, my friend Matt Pissword has pre-ordered uh, Pokemon, every Pokemon game, every new Pokemon game since like Platinum back in 2009. So kudos to him. And then I think uh, Sam the OTPC is also planning on uh, pre-ordering uh, either Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu. I know Matt also pre-ordered Smash 5 too. Which I'm excited for Smash 5 because it has all the remaining, it has all the uh, characters as, uh, from Smash 4 and prior. So like Snake's back and Wolf is back from Brawl, two of those good Toon Link, or uh, Young Link is back from uh, Melee, and Pichu's back from Melee. That's pretty cool. I'm excited for the game. It's coming out, uh, I believe it was, uh, I think it was December 7th of this year when Smash Bros. is going to come out. I could be wrong. I know it's like in, late, in early December, actually. It's either the 7th or the 17th. I could predict it over right now just to myself, but yeah. 
if I was wrong on either of those two dates. But yeah, I'm excited for that, you know? Yeah, but uh, that's pretty cool. I think, uh, I remember on F Game FAQ is the website, f uh, Game Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, they had like a hint where they said you could get all three stars by trading over to, 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 to having an extra cartridge and just restarting your game to where you could trade over to get Squirtle and Bulbasaur and then start with like um, Charmander and your other card beats to get all three stars. That's pretty cool. I'll put a screenshot of that on screen if I can find it still. I think it's still up because Game FAQ is still up as a website. Maybe they still have that post. They, I could be wrong though. They may have you know, taken it down or something or I don't know. But anyway, after that long spiel, I'm sorry, let's go back to the game and, uh, battle this hiker looking trainer, yeah. I should go to Rock Tunnel and get myself an Onyx. I think you are a hiker if you want an Onyx. Teehee. Okay, Hiker Henry is defeated, I lost. Thanks for- uh, don't feel bad, man, you'll get better. Thanks for the 928 Poké Dollars. He had two Gravers, a Golem, and a Sand Slash, that's pretty cool. Oh, this big old maze. <laughs> There's not as many trainers, I don't think, in this thing, but uh, still, it's a big old kind of maze, you know? Okay, it's, okay. I, I meant to check my Pokemon before I stepped right there. I thought he may not be able to see me, but then again, it's, it was like three feet away. Three steps away, honestly. Uh, bow down before my Rago Pokemon. Never. Okay, Pokefan Alex was defeated. I thought it was a hiker, but he's actually a Poke, Pokefan. Nice. He had a Seeking. A Needle King and a Slow King. That's pretty cool. How do you mock royalty? I'm sorry, man. Thanks for 2,320 Poké Dollars. Okay, I think there's another trainer. I'm not gonna guess which type trainer type this is, because it could be a hiker. This could be a Poké Fan. I think they share the same sprite, to be honest. Neh. At least the field sprite, I should say. Uh, would you like to battle with my Pokémon Pikachu again? Sure, why not? I, I like Pikachu. Okay, right there, making good level 62, but I kind of sped through it, so, yeah. So far, this guy has, like, six Pikachus, and this is his fifth Puck Pikachus sent out. So, I guess, I'll see you guys at the this battle. Puck fan Joshua was defeated. Awesome. P Pikachu! <laughs> Thanks for 1,840 Pokedars. He wasn't kidding when he said that, uh, he had he wanted to battle with my Pikachu gang because he had six Pikachus. It's pretty cool, though. Okay, trainer tips. Uh, look right there at the left sign. On the po of the post. Is it hit an item or something? No, but I, actually, I, mean, I didn't mean to read that again, sorry. I thought there was a hidden item here, but I guess not. Almost, I'm just, it's right under my, I bet it's right under my nose. Or is it over here? You'd think that there'd be an item here, but I guess there's not. Jeez. That's cool game. What is it over here? Oh, we found a calcium. Nice. Cool. But that's the right side of the post, right? I don't know. I figure what a calcium is. Probably think it's special stat, so let's see if I'm right. Um. Yeah, special stat. Okay, so let's give that to uh, Brosol, I guess. Or Mystic. Let's give that to, um, let's give that to Brosol, actually. Yeah, because Mystic has a lot of special, I believe, so that's good. Yeah, so, <laughs> Brosol's, uh, special row is right there. That's awesome. I think, uh, these will be the last two battles of the video because this video is getting quite long. I don't know how long it is going to be after editing, but still. I'm at, um, I think I'm at 26 minutes of recording time, almost 27, so yeah. Agility is the key attitude of bird Pokemon, so you're a bird keeper then, I'm guessing. I'm hoping you're a bird keeper. I was right, he was a bird keeper after all. Bird keeper Perry was defeated. Perry the Potipus? I'm just kidding. Perry spells his name P-A-R-R-Y in that finishing verb. But uh, he, this Perry spells his name P-E-R-R-Y. He had one far-fetched, by the way. You beat me with your speed. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Thanks for the 116 Poké Dollars. Thanks for complimenting me. Now that I realize that, if, now that I realize that you know, Megan is level 60, I'll switch up to um, probably Oliver next. Oliver hasn't had some screen time in a while. So I have my Pokemon level 62, I have my Pokemon level 61, awesome. So this will be the last battle of the video, so thanks to the Bird Keeper. Check out my Pokemon, just to look at the colorful coing and their plumage. Okay, we'll check, you. we'll check out your Pokemon, I guess. Bird Keeper Brent was defeated, he had a Pidgeotto and a... 
And a Firo. That's pretty cool. Shoot, not a good enough. I'm sorry, man. Like, for 1,536 Poké Dollars. I'm not gonna read that sign, because, uh, I already read enough signs for that one video. If you, if you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm gonna end the part right here before I accidentally run into another battle. So, yeah. So, the next part, we're gonna finish up, um, this route and hopefully make it to Lavender Town, hopefully, if I check my map again. But on Route 13, we're gonna go on to Route 12 next, and then hopefully get to Lavender Town. And maybe do Route 11, too, before we get to Lavender Town. I don't know. Depends on time. Depends on how things go, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, this is from Jaco again. I would like to mention again goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.